Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick follow-up video to a tech tip I had done a few years ago about recovering lost tabs in Google Chrome. Now, a lot of the comments mentioned that um, individuals had 70 or 100 tabs open and their computer crashed and they weren't able to recover them. Well, I have a couple of suggestions for how to avoid that going forward, as well as a couple of ways to rethink how you use tabs in Google Chrome. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. All right, so I'm in Google Chrome and I've got five tabs open. Uh, maybe let's say these I wanna check out a little bit later, but for now I'm checking out the DAE site and all of a sudden I lose the window. Well, in the previous tech tip video, I showed you that you can recover those tabs that you just lost by going to history and under recently closed, there's a little icon that says five tabs. If I click on that or press control shift T, it brings those five tabs back. Now, if for some reason that doesn't work, your other option is you can go into your history and go to your full history, and it will show you everything that you've uh, looked at since you've cleared your browser history. Now, if you clear your browser history regularly, you're going to lose some things. I had um, cleared my browser history prior to this video, so I've got a couple things opened up here, but it lists out all the sites that I've visited, and I can simply click on that, and it will open up that site. Um, in addition, if we go back to our full history here, um, I can search, um, if I put in the digital arts experience, or even just begin typing me, it'll show me any sites uh, that were in my history that are related to that search term. So for example, let's say you were reading an article about a specific topic and you lost that tab. Well, you can go to your history and type in a related word and the history should find it. Now, if you clear your browser history super regularly and you've had tabs open for a few days, um, just kind of sitting in the background waiting for you to look at, there is the possibility that you might lose them if your computer crashed or something else weird happened. So in, the, in that situation, I really recommend that you rethink the way that you use tabs. I, it's really not a good idea to have tabs open for things that you wanna read later because there is a possibility that you might lose them. What I recommend you do is you create a folder on your bookmarks bar by right clicking on the bookmarks marks bar and say adding a folder. And I'm gonna call this read later. And so now I've got this folder on the bookmarks bar called read later. So let's say I go to a website and I wanna check this out at some point. All I would need to do is simply click on the star in the top right corner of the address bar and then choose my read later folder, okay? And so now that's saved in my read later folder. So if I open a new tab, my read later folder is right here and there's my summer camp page. I wanna save this scratch website. I can save it and read later. And then I can actually just close these. I can also leave them open, but in the case that I lose them, I've got them saved in a bookmarks folder, right? Read later. So what I can do now is once I read this site and I'm all set with it, I can simply remove it from my read later folder by opening the folder, right clicking on the bookmark and selecting delete. And that way, anything I'm hanging on to that I wanna save for any reason, I can kind of back it up in this read later folder. Um, and then if for whatever reason my computer crashes and I lose all my tabs, well, no big deal. I've got this read later folder and then I can keep tabs on, on cleaning that stuff out simply by right clicking on a bookmark and deleting it. And then that way I can manage the stuff in there. So that's really a better method than keeping 70 or 100 tabs open with things that you wanna read later. So as you can see, the search bar in the history of Chrome is uh, a possible way to recover tabs that you might have lost. But my best advice is to rethink the way that you use tabs. And instead of saving things that you want to read later in open tabs, you're better off putting them in a read later folder on your bookmarks bar. And that way, if you your computer crashes or Chrome crashes and you, you lose all those tabs you have open, you'll have that read later folder and you can easily pull up those lost tabs rather than having to search through your history and try and find them again. So I hope that was useful. Thanks for tuning in. As always, Always, we release new tech tip videos every week at noon and definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. We release a ton of other great content um, and check out the DAE.com for our list of online classes and private lessons. And I look forward to seeing you in the next tech tip video.